Hello everyone! If you guys are here to hear about the main differences, advantages and disadvantages of open and closed loop, you are in the right place. So, let's see what is what and what's right for you. A closed loop, usually called AIO or all-in-one, is a closed liquid cooling system, meaning it cannot be expanded, cannot be opened or maintained, nor it's required to be, and its parts can't be replaced with other parts. Now, closed loops combine the core components of any liquid cooling system, so a water block, a pump, reservoir, tubing, radiator and fans into a single pre-assembled and pre-filled unit like here. On the other hand, an open loop is usually a custom liquid cooling loop that consists of universally compatible parts that can be swapped, replaced, expanded, upgraded and so on and so on. Now, you can do with it almost anything you desire, but it also requires yearly maintenance. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into AIOs first. An AIO has the following components, a CPU water block, just like every custom loop, and it usually has a copper base plate and copper fins. Then we have the pump that is, most of the time, located in the CPU block itself, on the AIO of course. Now this means that AIO is limited to lower power pumps due to size constraints that the custom loop doesn't have. Now there's also a set of barbs which are not removable, tubing and finally a radiator. Now, when you buy a 240 or a 360 unit, the 240mm or 360mm radiator is what you get and there's no changing it. Radiators in AIOs are usually made of aluminium due to its lower cost. But that doesn't mean a big difference compared to the copper radiators in custom loops. But it also isn't better than copper radiators. But we all know that mixing metal leads to corrosion, right? Yeah, right. However, in an AIO unit you have a sealed loop with a very strong anti-corrosive coolant which counters galvanic corrosion caused by mixing metals. And last but not least, on the radiator you have fans that dissipate the heat that the radiator absorbs from the coolant. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the closed loop components. Now, let's talk about the custom loop. This is the pinnacle of liquid cooling. Picking out the entire liquid cooling loop piece by piece, everything from main parts to the tiniest cables and adapters. For some, it's not just a hobby, but it's an obsession. It's the closest thing to custom-made cars, a fusion of technology and art, and the pride of ownership that comes with it. The custom loop has a CPU water block, which takes the heat away from the CPU and transfers it to liquid. It's connected via fittings and tubing to the pump reservoir and the radiator. Now, custom loops often have GPU blocks as well, while AIOs, they don't. Now, you can customize an open loop any way you like, from different size and colored fittings, hard or soft tubing with many different materials to choose from, and don't get even started on the coolant colors and everything else that will, in the end, give you a unique look to your PC. And you also have a wide variety of CPU water blocks, which differ in looks, shape, material, sockets compatibility and so on and so on. Now the same goes for GPU blocks, which are specific to each GPU PCB design. Pumps are a great upgrade compared to the AIO, even though our AIOs use a custom loop grade SPC pump. It's simply that custom loops don't have the size restrictions, which allows for several times stronger pumps to be used. Now this also provides higher flow and quieter operation if fans are set to lower speeds. And finally, radiators. Just like AIOs, custom loops also need radiators, but those are usually made of copper. This is why custom loops can use more environmentally friendly coolants that do not have such strong anti-corrosives. Now, the biggest advantage of a custom loop in the end is the fact that you can stack as many radiators as your case can fit. And that covers the rough basics of both. Now, let's talk about differences. So, AIOs are not expandable, but a custom loop is. AIOs, on the other hand, are definitely cheaper than custom loops. Then AIOs are easily installed where you need more knowledge and experience to set up a custom loop. And an AIO doesn't require maintenance and custom loop does, at least once a year. A closed loop is not customizable, while you can customize every single component whenever you want to in an open custom loop. 
And lastly, AIOs offer an excellent cooling capacity while Custom Loop does it outstandingly. Now clearly the advantage of a closed loop is that it requires no maintenance at all. It's easier to set up and of course it's cheaper. The advantage of a custom loop is that it can be customized without limit, has the best cooling capacity and it's expandable and serviceable if anything ever fails. And once I mentioned serviceability, you probably thought, why does AIO have a five year warranty, right? Well, it's simple. AIO right here is sealed, pre-filled and pre-assembled. It can be open and contaminated by outside factors. There's no chance of outgrowth of corrosion due to its highly powerful anti-corrosive coolant with biocides. All this allows AIO to safely operate for at least five years, which is why EK confidently offers a five-year warranty. And no matter which cooling solution you choose, an EK AIO or a custom loop with EK components, you've made the best choice since we're market leading experts and all the products we develop will keep your PC silent as whisper and cool as a cucumber. Thank you for watching and take care.